Thank you for attending this session. We will go over a quick demonstration of the qualitative data analysis software called QDA Minor Light. So let me begin sharing the screen. Here is the login to QDA Minor Light. Let's choose the free version, free edition. So the first thing that we want to do is to create a new project. I have a list and the paragraph that we're going to look at today talks about lions and tigers. So I'm gonna choose from that. It's in my F drive here. I want to add that file. I double click on that file down here. Hit create. This dialog box will come up. The default is to remove images. So my document doesn't have any images, but yours may, and those images may be an integral part of your document. So you may want to disable this functionality. But in my case, it doesn't matter because there are no images. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to this is where I'm going to put the output for my analysis. So I'll just call it QDA Panthera. Hit save. I'm going to replace it. And you could see then that my document is automatically updated into QDA minor light. So you are now looking at the screen for QDA minor light. And let me make sure I'm, I'm sharing this correctly. Now, we must go through the process of coding this document. So we won't go through the coding, the thought processes for coding. This is just a demonstration of the software. But we know that coding is a critical part of qualitative data analysis. So, and it, the coding is something that you need to somewhat determined beforehand, before you actually go in there and work on your document. So in this case, I'm, I've chosen three codes already. Those are going to be Panthera, Lion, and Tiger. So I'm gonna click on codes, add. The first one I wanna choose, I'm gonna choose Panthera. I could have many codes. Categories are groupings of codes. So we'll just pick one category for now, initial. And if you can set up one category, you can set up 10. We wanna make sure that you understand what the categories are. And for Panthera, the color that I want is red. So you could see down here, to the left, here is my code for Panthera. I want to add another code. This will be Lion. 
it's under the category initial. And let's see, let's choose which color here will choose blue. The code lion is added. You can see it on the very left here. And the next one that we want to choose is tiger. It'll be under the category initial. And the color we want to choose for that will be, uh, let's see, something that's going to offset it pretty well. Let, let's, let's choose green. So in this short paragraph, we have three codes, panther, lion, and tiger. So we want to close. Now we need to go through the process of coding. So in this particular case, the first one I want to choose, I want to consolidate or lump these two, the first two sentences for no, for no good reason, just to illustrate how this works. I highlight the first two sentences, go to the left here to Panthera, double click on Panthera, And you could see to the right, you can see to the right there, there's my coding for Panthera. Okay. Another coding that I may wanna choose are, and again, I can just consolidate or lump these together. So I'll lump these two sentences together. Go to the left, double click on Panthera. And you could see the coding for Panthera here. Then I'm going to choose this last sentence to code. I want to double click on Panthera. So now you can see that for Panthera, this document has been coded. The next code I'm going to choose is lion. So I'll choose the first sentence here, lion. Go to the left, double click on lion. And you could see lion as part of the coding here and it's in blue the color that we had chosen. I'll go down here, choose lion. Double click on lion. You can see lion right here. I'm gonna to go to these two sentences. I wanna keep them separate for, for no good reason, just for the sake of example. So I'll choose this first sentence. I'll choose lion, double click. You see lion right here. And since this sentence includes tigers, I already have it highlighted. So to save myself some work, double click on tiger. Okay, it didn't work there. Let me try this. Let me try this sentence here. We'll just keep it uh, to lions then. And for this sentence, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll double click on lion. And you can see lions right here. So now let's do the coding for tigers. So tigers was, was in this first sentence. Go to the left here, double click on tiger. We could see tiger here, green. On the right here, that's the coding for the tiger. We'll go to this bullet, double click. 
there's the coding for the tiger. We'll keep these two sentences separate again. Double click on tiger. You can see the hierarchy here, tiger. On the right, the coding. Let's choose this sentence. Double click on tiger. And you could see the hierarchy of tiger here. This paragraph now is fully coded based off the panth panthera, lion, and tigers. You could see even for a short paragraph like this, you can see the hierarchies, the organizing of your coding can get pretty complex. That's the value of software like QDA minor light. This document is fully coded now. So let's perform some analysis. So we can go to the ribbon and how about let's choose now analyze. So double click on analyze. Coding frequency. We have two choices, trees and tables. So let's say we choose tree, then hit search. And you could see here then that it's going, the software will go through what we coded. What's the frequency of Panthera, Lion, Tiger? What about in a tabula? Oh, and then this tree, what you want to do is to download it into your writing, your narrative, or your document to support your writing, narrative, or document. The same thing here with your table. Download this table to support the analysis of your coding. Another feature of QDA Minor Light, I want to go to Documents. I'm going to choose Chart. Here's a bar chart of the frequency. How many times did they find Panthera, Lion, and Tigers? Another chart. Similar to the other chart, but this, the first one was a vertical bar graph. This one is a horizontal. You can do pie charts. Panthera, lion, and tiger. And you can do word clouds that show that the base is Panthera, lions, and tigers are part of the Panthera. So that finishes up then this quick video of QDA minor. You can see that even for a short document, the coding can get pretty complicated. Now the parent program is called so this, the program that we're looking at is QDA Minor Lite, which is a free version. QDA Minor is the parent version. QDA Minor is used for mixed analysis, qualitative and quantitative. What we're using is QDA Minor Lite, and that's for qualitative data analysis. It's still pretty powerful. Even if you have a long document, QDA minor light will assist you in your qualitative data analysis. So let's save this now. So project, exit, and all of this analysis will be saved in our file. Again, we called it QDA Panthera 
and it's dot QDP. So that's going to finish up the file. The file has been closed. That also concludes this quick demonstration of QDA minor light. Thank you for attending. Contact me if you have any questions about this presentation. Thank you again.